Just hooked up an ice cream. That is what we call a beautiful southern calamari. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, oh my god. On here. Oh, look, this good fish. That's one fillet. Some beautiful calamari rings. Oh yeah, look at that. Flip it around. Oh yes. Welcome back guys to another episode. Today we're down at the local pier again chasing squid. We haven't been down here for a long time chasing squid. So I just got the InQ Gold Runner. It's an eight foot three rod, 3000 size reel. 20 pound braid and 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. And it's a bit cloudy, overcast conditions, but right now I've got a bit of sun poking out. So I'm gonna take advantage of that and um, cast a few jigs out. Luke's got the Red Devil on and I've just got that Gold Runner on. So I'm gonna see if we can get some squid and I'm gonna do a catch and cook for you guys. So we'll get onto a few squid, see if we can get them. So we'll catch them, clean them, cook them, catch and cook, let's go. Yep, Luke's onto a squid. It's small, but it's still a squid. Oh. Just let that jig sink down. It's about four to five meters here currently at this point of the jetty. You just got a little sink for about eight seconds or so and then a few little whips. Can do up ones too, but since it's a bit windy, um, that wind's gonna lift that braid up and um, the jig's not gonna work as good. So we'll just do a few low ones, bit of a wind, pause, let that jig sink down again, and just keep doing that. Just hooked up, just hooked up, and um, it's going like a decent squid. Oh yeah, Luke, nice squid, got the net, just hooked. Nice squid. That's what you want, if we can land this, it's gonna be a nice catch and cook. Beautiful. Yes. On the gold runner. There you go guys. A beautiful southern calamari in this uh, overcast conditions. Just on the uh, the NQ gold runner there. So it's trying to eat it, bite it. Oh, and me. But um that's the jig there. The InQ Gold Runner. Luke got a couple on the Red Devil too, so they're both reducing. And um, that is what we call a beautiful southern calamari. Awesome. So we'll get a few more of these if we can. Cook them up for you guys, and it's going to be another nice catch and cook. Beautiful squid. Alrighty, that is a beautiful southern calamari right there. The most humane way to kill these squid is a basic karate chop between the hood and the head. So, just one big hit, turn the, the body white, that's our squid, can get a little bit messy if the ink sack, but that squid's definitely good to go. Luke just got a small squid here. Do you mean it? That's going to snap, even though it's small, I know you're going to lose it, so. What's that on the Red Devil? Another one. They're liking the red jig today, this morning in the overcast conditions, I can tell you that. Awesome jig.
now we're going to give soft plastics a go, see if we can get some fish. Whatever we catch that's legal, we're going to keep and we're going to eat. God. Oh, oh, oh. oh my God. Luke's on. Oh, I just dropped him. Luke's on too. Yep. On here. Oh, look, this good fish. Look at that. So good one, this one. We're gonna do a nice catch and cook. <laughs> Don't go under, mate. Yes. There we go, nice Australian salmon. This guy absolutely swallowed it. That's why he's bleeding. And he's definitely sized, so. That's definitely gonna go in the catch and cook. We might eat this guy for sashimi, but that's a beautiful salmon there. All right guys, unfortunately the salmon moved off. That's how quick it is. So unfortunately we just got the two, which is more than enough for that catch and cook. Luke, and, Luke got one and I got one, and it's good fun on the like here. And um, they smashed it right, right at our feet. So that's awesome footage. And we got a couple of squid too, so it's going to be a nice catch and cook. So we're going to clean these fish. Okay. What we're going to do is go get some fresh salt water. Just rinse these fillets in. Wait for this wave to come. Rinse that out. You gotta go when the wave comes, that way you don't get the sand in the bucket. Like so. All right, we got our bucket of salt water. Okay guys, time to clean the fish that we caught. So, I'm just gonna roll my sleeves up because it might be a bit messy. So, Just rinse them in the water for a little bit. So here's our beautiful Australian salmon that we caught. Some nice fish there. And we also got some beautiful calamari just off the pier, so just dunk that in there. I'll start off with um, cleaning these salmon. So, to clean these guys. Go behind the back of the fin. Just cut down to touch the backbone there. And just run your knife along that backbone. That's one fillet. Then bring it to the other side. Same thing. 
same thing, just run along that backbone. And there's another fillet. And with this, this is excellent crab bait, gummy bait, burly, and you can get little scraps off this um, and off this carcass and use that for bait too. So I'm just gonna put that there. All right, now what I like to do is skin it. So just get in there. With salmon, since they've got a lot of blood, their bloodline, just don't go too close to that skin. Just leave a little bit of flesh on the skin still, like so. And just run your knife along that layer of flesh. And you want to have a bit of flesh on the skin still. That, see all that bloodline? That's what you want off the fish. And just cut that little section out. Use that for bait. And that's one nice salmon fillet. And um, that's going to be either cooked up or I might have a bit of that for sashimi. Same goes with the other fillet. That's that. This is what happens when you don't take that layer of flesh off. You get that, um, that bloodline. You can leave it in if you want. Otherwise, yeah, you can cut it out with the skin. But that's another salmon fillet done. So there's our two salmon fillets all done. Pop that in the bag. Pop the carcass in here. Do our other salmon now. Go behind the backbone. Run your knife along that. Cut to the end. That's another beautiful fillet there. Do the same thing with the other side. And that's another fillet. So, see what this guy's eating. Is anything in there pretty empty it's always good to to see what your local fish are eating that way when you're using lures it's always good to match the hatch but um, these guys are pretty empty so looks like they haven't been into a bait school recently so to see those plastics that's why they went nuts over it if you saw in the footage they even jumped out of the water for it So we'll just skin these, leave a little bit of layer when you're skinning them, like so. And that's pretty much what you want. If you can see, that's all that bloodline on it. There's a little bit left, but you can see it took most of it off. So that's what you want to do when you fill it Australian salmon. Put that skin in there, do it to the other one now. Start from the end of the, of the fillet. On your knife. That's another skin off that fillet. Take this section out, all the bones and the internal bits. And this is excellent bait. This one's pretty good. Just has a tiny bit there. And there's two nice fillets off another salmon. All right, time for the squid. Now that's a beautiful calamari, just got ink coming out, so. And um, what I like to do with the squid, just put your thumb in there, you'll hear a crack sound, like so. And you push that backbone out of the squid. Just pull, like so, and have a go at that. 
all the guts come out in one hit and um, that is excellent bait you can eat the candles too but that is good bait right there now what I like to do is just take the wings off so just pinch the back there can be a bit tricky what you do once you open it up you just peel it off Bigger squid a little bit harder than the small ones, but um, you just get in there and both wings should come off pretty much in one hit while taking majority of that skin off, like you can see now. So just peel, peel that away. There's our flaps off, beautiful, awesome bait, awesome eating. So wings are a good part too. A lot of people throw them out, but they're excellent. That's the remaining of the skin on the outside body of the tube. Now you can clean it out a little bit. That's pretty right to go. And now we're turning it inside out. So what you want to do is you put your thumb behind the hood, press it in like so. Just keep pushing it in. What I like to do is get the back of the knife, just pushes it all out. Could do it carefully, otherwise the ends of the hood can tear. So you just keep on doing that, like so. And that's the hood flip inside out and that's the remaining gut so like I said when you take that head off if you do it properly it will take majority of the guts out with it so just going to take the rest of the, the remaining guts and skin off and that's our hood done so just do that now just scrape it for knife cut the ends off I use that part for bait And there we have it, that's our squid, ready to go. Just gonna get some more water. That'll be enough, that's all we need. Alrighty, we'll get our fish out now. Quickly do the, the squid, rinse it in clean fresh water now. Or cleaner. That's awesome. Gave this a wipe down. Rinse a knife too. Alright, so what I'm gonna do for the squid is just do some rings. Like so. And um, the other squid we might actually use for bait because they're a bit small size. This is all we need to, need to eat. Plenty for lunch. And there we have it, some beautiful calamari rings just from today's catch. And that is an awesome amount for lunch. So yeah, we'll do the salmon too because we'll actually have sashimi with that. We'll have a bit of it for sashimi. Alrighty, so now we're gonna clean, well, slice nice fillets of the sashimi with the salmon. Since it's very fresh, it might be a little chewy, but we'll see how we go. So just slices of it. Take the bloodline out, a little bit of bloodline. So you just cut some pieces like that. And obviously you can cut it thinner however you like it. But we're gonna do a little taste test with that.
Got our soy sauce. Put it on here. Dip a bit of that on it. Look at that. Looking good. Yeah, it's still a little bit chewy because it's fresh. It's better to leave it overnight. But that is some beautiful sashimi right there. Australian salmon. And there we go. That's our salmon sashimi done right here. Right next to the water. You probably can hear the waves. And um, now we'll cook our calamari rings and... Um, See how they go. Time to cook the squid up. Flip that down. There we go. Heat the pan up, put some oil on, and then we're pretty much ready to go. Alright, pan's hot. Just putting the oil on now. Alright, let that oil heat up. And then we're ready to put the squid on. All right, now we're to get all the fish and the squid. So that's our salmon and calamari. That's going straight in the flour. Mix that up. Give that a good shake. Right now, what we've got is a beaded up egg. I'm just gonna put those floured calamari wow. rings and fish. All right, that's all of them in there. Close the bag up, give them a mix too. And now what we wanna do is just put them back into the flour, give them another coating. All right. It's got a nice coating there. Now we're going to put it back into the flour. Deal in here now. Luke's just going to give that a shake now. Oh yeah, look at that. That is beautiful. We'll add the rest in now. Just add another one in and add majority of it. It's only a small pan, but um, we'll see how we go. Already smells good. It's a bit windy, so it might take a little longer to cook, but it's going beautiful so far. Oh yeah, look at that. That's going good so far. Flip one of them to see what they look like. Oh yes, look at that. Look how crispy that is. That is so good. Flip another one. Oh yes. He's so good. Take one of the salmon fillets out just to test it out. Rest that on there. It's going to be hot, obviously. That is cooked perfectly. Actually, get a bit of salt. Taste test. Not bad. Definitely does pay off when you take that bloodline out. If you like that fishy taste, then leave it in it, but without it, it's amazing. Can't wait to try the squid, because the salmon is unreal. Uh, I reckon these are pretty much ready to go. Oh yes, look at that. These winds are pretty pretty annoying, but got to do with what we've got. Leave that one a little bit longer. This is just some of the squid, by the way, guys. We've still got a lot more in the bag. That's just from that one squid that um, I caught. Luke's ones we're just going to use for fresh bait because um, we're pretty short with some squid for bait because the previous session we absolutely smashed the whiting and I got a lot of soft plastics too, so good fun. But now... These squid, pretty much ready to go. Turn the heat off for a sec, I'll put on low. Alright guys, we'll tr put some salt on now. Get some pepper. 
like that. And that's our beautiful calamari ring taste test. Very crunchy. That's actually pretty tender, so very good. Cooked perfectly, crispy on the outside, tender on the inside. That is perfect. All right, guys, just gonna continue eating these, feasting on some fresh squid. Any good? So, nice little lunch. We'll cook the rest of the squid because it's bloody beautiful. Very tender, crispy on the outside. So, follow that simple recipe, just some flour, egg, flour, straight in the oil, and that's all you need to do. So we're just gonna continue eating these. Awesome calamari. There's the big fillets of salmon. Cooking beautifully, just got in there. Oil's that hot, that, that side's looking already good. Looking good already. Flip it around. Oh yes, look at that. That is beautiful. Look at that. Wow. So good. Do another little taste test for you guys. Get a salt. Very good. That is cooked perfectly. Normally Australian salmon, I don't really like. It's got a fishy taste. But when you get rid of that bloodline, it still has a little bit of fishy taste, but nowhere near as much. And that is beautiful. So that's the catch and cook done, guys. Pier fishing for squid. And then a salmon school came up, chased them, and we got into a couple. Luke and I on Ultra Like Yeah using soft plastics. So we caught the fish and squid. We cleaned it, had a bit of sashimi, and cooked it up right there. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't already, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment your thoughts down below on what videos you'd like to see. Subscribe if you haven't already. Appreciate all your support. So just hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.